Hey, good morning, folks. AJ here. We are here in Washington, D.C. at St. Timothy's, where we're going to start doing some of the work that we talked about in the previous video that I tagged here. What we're going to mainly focus on is replacing this projector with a um, Sony. Originally, it was going to be a Panasonic, but they were out of stock, so we got an equivalent um, Sony um, laser projector. Uh, I think it's about 6,500 lumens. Should be more than enough because they can control the light from these windows here. The other thing we're gonna do is relocate their original PTZ, put it back here. So we're gonna connect those two and this would be its own independent thing here. In the back room back there, we're gonna put the A10 Mini Pro back there um, so it can be controlled from here. And then we're gonna focus our attention on the sanctuary. So. Um, we got everything in. They got the ladder out for me. So we're going to get up here, see about pulling down the mounts from there, then running the connections for the um, PTZ, which will be back here, Ethernet cable back here, um, projector, Ethernet back to there with all the controls and things like that. We'll focus our attention on that first. All right, I have a slight issue. The mounts that are here, the existing one, does not match how this could be mounted. So I'm going to either need to order another mount. Well, I'm going to have to order another mount because the bracket just won't fit on here. So uh, the beauty of how this stuff goes always changes. So I'm gonna have to get on here on Amazon, see if I can order a projector mount or maybe go to a, um, a micro center or something like that and see if I can do that. Um, what I'll probably focus on now is at least run the cables to each location. So we're gonna have a HDMI 75 foot that will go from the mount all the way down to the back and then I have a hundred foot that's going to go from <clears throat> excuse me this back wall and that will go all the way there along with a um, ethernet cable to give power to the camera and then also give network access and control to the um, projector so I'll work on that and then we run all the cables down the conduit that's already there punch through the wall put everything up on the other side and then we will move from there all right so i ended up getting ordering a next day um mount so we won't be able to mount the projector until thursday Ugh, just don't like that but the mount will be here <clears throat> tomorrow which most likely that's going to be tomorrow evening so the idea is to get everything else done. So all we have to do is go up, pull the old mount down, put the new one up, hang the projector, hopefully. So let me get back up here. I pulled down all the rest of the cables, see if I can use some of them as a pull string for my ethernet. Um, the main thing is to get over to the corner and get all the wires there and then we'll work from there. All right, so we're gonna move over there existing joystick back here and we just have a place where all of this is going to set I'm going to leverage that monitor right there hopefully and I think a table is going to go back here but we're going to I was hoping I didn't have to punch through the wall <clears throat> but it looks like I will have to so that we can get all of our cables through up here so we got steel and brick joy um, let's go ahead and set some of this stuff up temporarily so that we can at least have um, the poe switch set up the a10 mini pro and we'll start putting the mount on the other side of the wall for the hdmi plug-in so if somebody wanted to you know use the system and stuff like that all righty we got Ethernet for the projector, Ethernet for the PTZ, the H fiber optic HDMI that goes into 
the projector as well as the one for the PTZ all pulled. Um, pretty much I think what they decided on is doing this outside and being able to disconnect everything and then roll the cart in here when needed and when not needed. Um, so all of that is fine. I was able to not have to drill into the wall and all this other stuff. I will still need to get and actually I still won't need to drill in because I need to get the audio from here to go into the um, into the ATEM. But I'm going to make some cables right now. I got four of them, two for the projector, one for the ATEM, one for the joystick. And then we're going to hook up, <coughs> terminate these. I need to get a plate for those. Um, I think I might have one in the car. Um, I do have a pass through, so I'll probably do that for the HDMI cables. Um, with the plan maybe to actually have... Um, just plug in directly into the wall and not have all this extra cable if they're going to do that. So let me terminate these Ethernets and then make these other cables and then hook up the POE switch and at least get some power and then go to move the projector. I mean, not the projector, but the PTZ from over there over here. And then we're on standby until the projector mount comes in tomorrow so we're not going to be able to finish this up until thursday but we can at least get the ptz and then start moving towards doing everything in the sanctuary next disconnected temporarily like I said I need some um, keystones a two gang keystone for that but we do have power from here the other two are connected the last one would go to the ATEM um, I need to put probably a surge protector on this but we got that done let me clean my mess up and then we're gonna go to terminate the ethernet on this side which will go to the projector which is still pretty long I'll put all the extra in the ceiling and then we'll terminate this one back here and I'll do that after we actually hang the PTZ alrighty so the plan in here is we need to find a way to fish the front PTZ that I believe is going to be right under that light. We're going to have to fish it up and around back to where all the existing cables are right here. So let's at least get one of these removed because that's the existing. Well, it's too much light here. Let me get closer so y'all can see. This is where the station is, but we're going to take this camera down. This is the one that's going to go in where we just, where the projector is going to go. We can probably still use that mount. Um, no point in taking it down. I'm just going to flip the camera to be quite honest. I'd rather it be centered, but again, it's, it's straight glass. <laughs> so we're not going to be able to put this anywhere. Um, so we're going to put this to the side and then have the other one maybe about right there so let's go ahead and at least start turning on some of the basic stuff we take this camera down and the cabling is actually fun i believe that is a fiber optic hdmi so we don't need to really do nothing with that um we just hook up the a to make sure we get an image and we'll switch everything out move that camera to the other side and then start focusing our attention here. 
Alrighty, we got the new camera up, ATEM there, I need to make a cable because that PoE switch is not connected to anything so none of these can get an IP address at all so I'm going to make that when I come back but we're going to relocate that camera and the mount in the other room, make sure that's working and then just like we're doing here. We'll do the same thing now i do have another monitor this is the same brand i think the one i got is actually bigger than this so we're going to take up a lot of space and now that we have the atem the interface is not needed but i need to see if i can get a what's that a female to 3.5 millimeter cable so we can plug directly in and get audio directly into the atem but and then also got to make a Ethernet cable for the ATEM, so I gotta make two more cables. Anyway, let's move over to the other side, hang this camera, and then get that one tested and then hooked up and all that other fun stuff. Alrighty, we got power. This one is mounted. We'll come back and put the conduit to hide that cable, but that is good. Gonna terminate the one here for the projector. But besides that, we are good. And because this was already working with the other one, we already got an image. So we need to come in here and flip the projector. I mean, not the projector, but we gotta flip the um, camera. Oh well, I, I'll log in and do that later, but we got it there. So let's concentrate on mounting that other um, camera in the sanctuary and getting that all configured. All right, I got everything set up. I am um, extracting the ATEM software right now so that I can get that configured, make sure we get an IP address, do a test live stream just to make sure we don't have like an audio issue and I think I have a cable that I can use for that if I don't have it on me I know I do have it at home but we're going to go ahead now and install the software and then I'm going to temporarily set up the camera now I can't recall how they if this was going to go to an overflow because if it does, then we have to run another cable back over to the projector. I thought we did. I, I just don't recall right off the top of my head. But worst case scenario, that's where we're going to have to get some RG6 and run it all the way back here, up and over into the room. And then another cable running up to the projector. So that would be like, I don't know. I really don't want to. Yeah, I was going to say I don't want to do that because I want the audio <clears throat> to be able to go through the house and it might already have that set up, I don't know. But, we'll approach that when we need to because I got a call from another project. There was something I need to get. So I might stop, pick up the stuff that I need and pick up this other stuff for another project to get that knocked out. Um, I don't recall what I had that splitter for. Oh well, let's get this stuff done and then this other stuff, those are just configurations. So um, I'll run the, I'll pick up some RG6 because I think I'm out. And then we'll run that and then we have to decide what we're going to do with um, conduit or whatever with the cable that's there as well as the two additional cables we're going to be running from the camera. I know originally we said we were going to go on that side. But I'm wondering what was the reasoning why we didn't go on this side. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. Hey, good morning, folks. We are back here at St. Timothy's. Got here a little bit earlier. I was going to do another stop earlier, but I think got here earlier, knocked this stuff out so I can go back. So first thing we did is I went and picked up some surge protectors here. So we got one here so the equipment will be protected i have my um keystone jack so i can put this in place 
Um, I also got my conduit and I have my impact drill that I forgot in the garage so that I can mount the conduit to hide these cables. And then I also bought some more RG6 so that we can run another cable from the projector all the way over the stairs and into the sanctuary. And we're gonna run RG6 to connect the front camera and run that to the back in the media area. Again, we're gonna be back here tomorrow anyway because the mount for the projector is gonna be delivered today or tonight. So <clears throat> maybe see if I can get up there and take down this original mount because the new one is going to replace that completely um, but the main thing is i want to focus of cleaning all this up so when i come back the only thing i really got to do is um, put the mount put the projector up connect everything and then we're done so let's focus on getting this conduit out the way and then we can focus on um, running the new rg6 and honestly i might I should just come this way and then that way um, that'll be easier and at least leave the cable there and then work from there alrighty we got that one done I might call, cut a small piece if need be it's about, about like six inches um, <clears throat> but not that big of a deal what we're gonna do now is focus on terminating this box up here in the front get that all done and then also i need to find where the main internet is coming in here because i'm going to use a blue keystone to signify um the internet which will feed into that switch that will give this internet access um but we'll figure that out later Alrighty, I am now to the part that I am not too excited about doing, but I think we may have found an alternative. So this is going to be the coax that we run to connect to the second input of the projector so that it can be like a quote-unquote um, um, overflow from inside the sanctuary in here. And I was looking up there which is I thought originally was gonna happen, but I come in here in this kind of little coffee kitchen area, I think that leads right into the hallway. So if that works, I can meet up with the other cables that I gotta pull and we'll just drill a hole on this side. And just like the camera, we will put, make sure we go high enough Hopefully we can get this high and we'll just do a conduit straight up and then we'll just go straight over. That is the attempt. So I'm going to push. I do have a pull string attached to this because I remember to bring it this time. I'm going to push this into the hallway and just see if I find it. If we do, then we're in business and then I'll come back and I got to get some more conduit anyway um, to run back up here and get over there and then this part is done and then all i got to do is run in the hallway with the camera and bring all of that back into the sanctuary all right i must apologize my mic actually died here so i'm adding this after the fact so i had to drill a hole here because the hole was not big enough that was already there for me to run the cables this is the two cables coming from the front ptz that we got into the hallway there. I had to open up a hole in the ceiling to get that. So those are the new cables. I've relocated the internet to go in that place. Now I'm looking at the wall. We're gonna put a conduit up there to hide all these cables. This is the cable, the original internet cable that I cut to use as a pull string to pull through. So we have two SDI cables. One's going to the projector. The other one is going from the front camera and that blue cable is the ethernet cable so as you can see i am pulling this down the hallway got it all the way down to that door but ended up that door was locked so i had to see if i can get elson to come back over there and unlock that for me um, so i can get around there but i 
pretty much we just had to walk around the entire sanctuary to get back. Now, it was a lock on both sides. There was not a, you needed a key to unlock the door, so I couldn't get in there. But as you can see, we ran the cable all the way back there. And we're going to be placing the front camera right there as close to that corner as possible. So um, we have to climb up in that top there. That's where the AC, the HVAC unit is. That's where we're going to run the cables through and get them over there to the front camera. So hopefully um, we'll be able to get them through without having to be as destructive as possible. Um, I think originally here I was going to try and go in that closet, but... Um, thankfully, we were actually able to get there and see, as you can see, there's a key needed on both sides. So I can't get through there. And there's Elton. Hey, he saw me there, so he's going to come there and unlock it. But that is the plan to run that other cable. We're down the hallway, and we literally just got to come in this room in the ceiling and get to where that HVAC system is right above me. Um, actually, now it's right above me, right there. And we need to drill a hole so that we'll bring the cables out um, as close to the camera as possible but since we're on the side of the wall that might not work so I'll get up there that lifts straight up and we're gonna put it right there in the corner um, because they want to be able to the drummer actually sits over to the left I mean excuse me to the right of this door I can't remember if I actually look over here yeah over there you see over there all right all right, so we were able to get the camera mounted and I wanted to have a smaller hole, but I hit some rebar. So I had to, um, the next drill bit that I had was actually significantly bigger than I wanted to. So we, we punched through, we got it through and I had some concrete that I'm gonna seal up that hole um, as best as possible and then put some conduit to cover that up. But now we are heading to the back just to verify that everything is working with the camera and we're getting the feed. And it looks from here, I terminated two SDI cables. So I think I mixed these between the one that's going to the projector and the one that's coming from the camera. So I put the camera, um, my camera down for a second for me to exchange out the SDI cables into the SDI to HDMI converter. And that's what we're gonna test. And I think we got it all hooked up and boom, there is our camera. So yay, our cables work. We don't have to re-pull anything. Now I just got to log in, flip the camera around, get it connected to the joystick and we're good to go. All righty, I logged in, got the joystick set up, got the camera flipped, got it set to an IP address, all that of a good fun stuff. So we're good to go. Now these cables are on the floor. I need to, um, pretty much order some conduit, some rubberized mat that's gonna stick and get as close to under that vent as possible. And it's gonna be kind of like a higher grade rubber so that that heat will not affect it and it won't melt. That was the concern about putting a regular conduit over top of the heating unit. But like I said, I need to come back here, clean up this mess, and but we got everything working. So really excited. And this is where I was talking about how uh, we're going to put a piece of conduit there to cover that up and then the extra gaps because of that wide hole. We're going to put some concrete there that will seal and that will be very paintable. Um, this is where I am explaining the conduit that we're going to put down up under there that won't be affected by the heating element. And I think I'm going to talk about this later, but again, I'm recording this after the fact. They want me to, instead of running the cables on the floor, around the door, they want me to punch through the wall um, into that side room. So we're gonna have to pull all these cables back and punch through the wall. Then we're gonna put the mat down and cover up all those uh, wires. So right there, that's where they want me to punch through. So we're gonna drill a hole right there and make sure we avoid hitting anything. This is the audio cable that's coming from there. Uh, well, actually that's the internet cable. We gotta pull that back as well too and we want all of these cables to go into a conduit they're going to run around to the door to the wall and then we're going to run them through the hole that we're going to drill through so that everything is nice and neat and we don't have gaff tape hiding everything um so that's what we got going on next and then i'm going to head over to tcf 
to make a couple of changes and then I have a Zoom consultation at four. And then we're gonna make our trip home, stop at Lowe's on the way, get a bunch of supplies, Ooh. head back up here tomorrow, get the projector done, the cosmetic stuff done, and then I need to visit another church in Warsaw, Virginia on the way back. I need to call them to let them know the time I project to be there. And then I will be back up here Friday because I have to be here for a, um, a low voltage inspection over at um, TCF. There's a couple of things I need to do over there before the inspection. But um, that's about it. And if need be, I'll let them know if possibly if I need to come back up here to do some other stuff, I'll be here in the area on on Friday. So let me take this because this is the type of conduit that I need to get. And I think I think we're good. I need to remember I forgot to bring one more um, HDMI to SDI, I mean, HDMI Keystone right there. I need that one to plug into the wall. And then I need to bring two HDMI cables um, for that. And I need to find where the internet is back here. Um, I'm assuming this white cable. No. I was assuming I'd wake you was it, but no, that's not it. I know the internet's got to be back here somewhere because it's our access point. So it might be in, in one of these um, cabinets or something like that. But we're going to run the connection up there so it has internet. And then, then we're done. All right, so let me pack my stuff up. Let's get on the road. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, folks. Day three here at St. Timothy's. We have our new mount and thankfully maybe this will actually fit inside of the pole that's already there and then I don't have to worry about going up and pulling that down. Um, the other thing when I was looking at the video I was trying to edit the video early this morning for the last few days it just didn't come out the way I wanted to so we're just gonna just combine all of this into one long video. I forgot this white cable was already for the projector. I still need to run another one from back there to bring internet in here. So we'll get to that, but I wanna get up here, see if I can get this conduit up there um, that can hold the projector. If I do that, then I don't have to worry about going even higher and taking that pole down. Um, we'll get to mounting putting the bracket on the projector, get that up, get everything connected, and then we'll be good to go. Concentrate on tacking down that cable there in the corner. Put conduit in the hallway. I need to drill a new hole in the wall because they want the cables to go um, through the wall going into the sanctuary. So I have to disconnect everything that's going to the ATEM so I can pull that back to run that back through um, the wall we're gonna do a two inch hole because that's straight brick I didn't want to put like a plate or anything like that so I have um, two two inch grommets so drill a two inch hole in the brick put a grommet on either side pass the cable through good to go um, I bought out all of the rubberized mats to conceal the cables there um, they're gonna be delivered today so I'll be back up tomorrow to put that down and to train them. I'm also going to be at TCF to do first thing in the morning because I have the low voltage inspection over there. Then head over this way. Um, and I think that is it. I do have to stop by another church on my way home. Um, I got um, referred to by Jaleel to go help them out. So we're going to be doing that this afternoon. So we're going to be dragging this as long as possible so that I won't just be sitting there for a long period of time. I do have another meeting 
a phone consultation at four. So anyway, <clears throat> let's get up here, see if this poll will work, and then I'm go from there. Also, I want to apologize. I have to do a voiceover because the receiver actually died on me when I was recording. So if the audio sounds different, it's because I have to do a voiceover on where the audio cut out when I was doing yesterday's video. So let me go. It says it lasts 18 hours. I've been plugging this in to the box that charges it, but I have no idea why it didn't charge. But anyway, I'll make sure I turn this off, but I am going to concentrate this and then I'll come back and let you know how that goes. Alrighty, folks, we were able to get the pipe to work with the existing stuff and we got a projector up and we have an image. So I still need to log in and um, flip the camera, but we got it keyed into the screen. I think it shifted when I just moved some stuff, so I need to make it equal on this side, but we're also going to run the internet cable. I'm going to pull up some slack on the cable, the HDMI cable for the um, PTZ so that I can go straight into that jack, bring that up, and then um, put the plate over there, run the other Ethernet cable here for internet, and I really don't want to, I'm going to have to do that. <sighs> I got to figure out a better way to do that but anyway do the internet close that off close that off close that off after tacking up everything right up against this wrap around that ledge and go straight up into that corner and then this part will be done and yay then we can tackle the rest of the stuff inside the sanctuary alrighty folks we got a lot of work done found out I didn't have to go all the way through here even though I drilled through there <laughs> this actually ended up in the pastor's office right there so I was able to pass that all the way through and I ran a cable up and over we have it connected now I don't have a fun stuff I need, still need to do that but we've cleaned up everything and we got the sanctuary and we do have everything over here done as well too i got the camera flipped we have all of the terminations done the blue is for internet coming here which we do have a connection here just finished doing that with my laptop if we switch this over real quick for our input switch that to b is going to be in here c is in the sanctuary Give it a second, and then boom, there's our connection to the A10 Mini Pro. And if somebody wanted to connect, I'm gonna label these as well too for the camera and input, but the bottom one, somebody can connect their computer directly to it, or a Blu-ray player or whatever, and then that's how you can get a connection to connect to the projector. So that's done. I just need to pull all the access up in the ceiling and then get that done on this side, as well as tack this down here. I'm gonna do that and then gonna move into the sanctuary to start putting the conduit to cover up the wall, um, the cables in that hallway. And then also we need to drill a hole um, to pass through the cables through the wall instead of them going under the door. All right, I haven't been recording that much just cause got some limited time but what we've got so far is we've got the conduit placed around here got one more piece to put over here we've drilled through here and I just pulled back all the cables so that I can push it through we're gonna put these grommets two inch grommets on here so that we can pass everything through and then run it back all the way up here and then tomorrow we'll have the rubberized mat that will go that full distance but let's finish pulling this through get these cables through and then cut another piece of conduit to seal that part up <sighs> then I got to go back over and finish tacking down um, the RG6 that's in the going up the wall 
to go to the projector. All right, we got every single cable ran through there and re-pulled. There, a lot of this is probably gonna be shortened because I don't need to run this entire length. As you can see, I got a bunch of cable. So the cables I can shorten, which is everything except for the XLR, I will. I'm gonna bring that to here and let it cut right here. There's no point in coming all the way back here. I'll just put that strip right there to leave right up under the desk and then shorten the cables where I can. And that's about it. I am getting ready to cut this other piece of conduit that I will extend for the PTZ right here. We'll put another mat back here to come here and meet where this other one is right there. And now I need to cut three pieces of conduit and then the extra piece will go to seal that up and then I'm gonna be done. Ah, I still gotta move the other XLR, I mean, not XLR, but the RG6 in the other room with the projector. So let me get this done and then get the front done and then we'll finish up. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here and we are here at St. Timothy's. We finished up everything and it is hot in here. Um, it is Sunday the 11th and we're up here. I'm sat in through service um, with them. They used the system, jumped in to help them a little bit. So let me just give you a tour on what we did here. All right, so right now we cleaned up, except for this extra piece of cable here, we cleaned up and added an A2 Mini Extreme joystick, two cameras and Got everything looking nice and pretty. All of this is going into Zoom, kind of what they're doing. Now, for some odd reason, when the audio that's going to the focus right is connected to the ATEM, there is a buzz. Don't really know what that is. Now, granted, that is a very long cable that is running and it's inside the wall, and it looks like this is damaged a little bit, but again, I'm not exactly sure. So, right now, this is an adapter that I got them, but it's not plugged into anything right now. Um, they're using the Focusrite, and worst case scenario, with the Focusrite, you could do dual quarter inches out into the ATEM if really needed, but they were happy with the sound today, so that's fine. Um, they already had a camera back here. We just repositioned, well, we got a new camera, and that's what we got the SMT AV20X that we put up here, and, um, we got that done. Ashley bought up all the silicone conduit that Amazon had to offer. I ended up buying all of that um, because that heat is the concern about protecting the cables. So I ran short and because of the bunch of cables, we had to put some gaff tape on that side just because of the XLR. But we ran that all the way up. I might try and put a little slack in there so we can push it right up against the wall. Um, let's go up here to the front and up here, and I need to get my, um, concrete to fill this little hole here. We got the similar 20X right up here in the front that gets the pulpit and some of the folks. And like I said, I am going to get a little sealant to seal that up so they can come back and paint that. That's in the other side of the room. Now they're having a little activity in the parish hall so i'm gonna be i'm probably gonna add a voiceover to that later but we wanted a um rg6 cables that is down here is feeding the projector that's over here in the parish hall so just going there for half a second and we added a laser projector up there as well too excuse me and so that is what they're leveraging right now they're doing the presentation. So it's hooking up to the jack that we have over there so they can use that for a presentation. And that's what loops back into everything. That is the feed that's coming back from the sanctuary that comes over into input number two, but them right there. We also ran internet up on there and that's running all the way over here. Number seven and three. So we come over here. This is where we put the jack and the top is for connecting directly to the projector. And that's what they're using with a laptop connected to it right now. 
We have mm -hmm. internet and all this other stuff right there. If they want to the stream, blue is for internet and the black is for the camera that's in the back as well as the projector. So the original camera, the original camera that was in the sanctuary was put there in the back so that they can have some control here. And that is about it. So let me get up out of here. So that is about it. Um, again, thank you so much, St. Timothy's Episcopal Church, for reaching out to me. Um, also, I didn't tell you, we, we got all the cables wrapped around here um, and getting them up out of the way. And I think that's about it. I had to get on the piano and play for a little bit. I wanted to get on the organ, but they're trying to draft me to be a musician. I said, uh, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, link is down below to everything that we did here. Um, and I think the way we had everything wired is, is to do some future stuff in here. Like right now, they don't have any displays in here. So they were talking about in the future, that might be an option. We did set the groundwork that makes that easy if we need to do that. I am just waiting for their um, pancake um, lunch to be over. And then we're going to do a little bit of training. And then I'm going to stop at another ministry on my way home, then go home, then pass out. But um, that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later. Mm -hmm.